What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys what we keep in our pantry, in our fridge, all the essentials that we keep in our house. A lot of you guys have been asking me if I live in a tiny house. I do and it makes things a little bit more difficult when filming videos just because I have a very small kitchen and it's hard to keep a lot of food on hand and as you will see we actually have food just kind of like everywhere in our kitchen. I don't have like one big pantry where everything's super organized. It's like in every little drawer and you'll see. Before I get into this video though, I just want to say I hope you all had a fabulous vegan Thanksgiving and you enjoyed lots of great time with your family and friends. Today is actually Black Friday, which if you've been following me for a couple of years, you know that today all of our books are 50% off for today only, so you can get my best-selling weight loss guide, Lean and Clean. You can get our classic recipe books, our instant pot book, or you can get the entire bundle of all five books for like 30 bucks. So it's super cheap today, and if you've ever wanted to buy our books ever, <laughs> today is the day to do it. We also have a gift giving option on our website, so if you wanna like send someone our books for Christmas, you can just type in their email address, say the date that you want it sent to them. So it could be for Christmas, for their birthday, for anything and it's just a super easy way to get your gifts out of the way because you just type it all in and then it all gets sent out the day that you want it to. We also have our meal planner website on sale today for $9.99. You can sign up and lock in that rate if you want to go that route. If you don't want any of our books or anything then just ignore me. I will leave all the links to all of that below. I also will leave a link to the full tiny house kitchen tour that I did on my channel um, when we were like first moved in because that is the video where I go through like all of our appliances, um, how I kind of organize everything and what everything really is. Today I'm just going to be talking about like what I keep on hand for essentials and all the stuff that's in our fridge and where I store everything and what I use things for. So let's start getting into that. So I will just start with our freezer. The essential things that I always keep in my freezer are a box of ripe bananas. I keep some type of fruit. I have frozen dates and shredded coconut back there. And then I always keep a few bags of potatoes. So I have these Trader Joe's shredded hash browns that I always keep on hand. And then I like to keep these ones from Earthbound Organic as well because they don't have any oil or anything in them and they're just super easy to just like throw in my air fryer when I'm really lazy. I also just have this box of it's just spinach and vegetables so whenever stuff starts getting kind of close to the expiration date I just throw it in this little thing here and then I can use this in soups and smoothies sometimes or whatever. Up here I kind of have like Derek's junk area versus <laughs> like the things that I use for my eat this not that. Videos. So I, we just have some of these vegetable masala burgers from Trader Joe's. We got the Thai sweet chili burger. We have some Ikea veggie balls because we went to Ikea and of course we just like had to get some. And then these are just some fries that Derek will probably eat one day when he's feeling lazy. We have ice, which is really exciting. I know you guys had to know that. Um, and then over here I have rice cake. We have two things of this roasted corn from Trader Joe's. And then we also have some shelled edamame that I just kind of like to throw in salads and soups and things like that. Down here I've got a bag of mulberries that I throw on top of smoothie bowls. We've got some dates. This is chopped lemongrass I got from the Asian market. And then I got this chow bella sorbetto that I just discovered which is amazing i found this at whole foods the mango one is actually a lot better than the lemon one but it's so creamy and delicious and like there's no dairy there's no fat it's basically just fruit and sugar and a thickener then i've just got some dairy free chocolate chunks if i ever want to make like chocolate chip cookies or whatever going down to our fridge so you don't keep like a ton of stuff just because there's only two of us and I go shopping a lot, so we don't like have a fully stocked fridge of just like tons of things. It's usually just leftovers. So we always keep water in here because we like to drink cold water. I have this bottle of ginger juice, which is just really easy to like add into smoothies or tea. 
We've got some sauerkraut. Uh, we also have a thing of kombucha. We usually have like three of these in here, but we're pretty addicted to kombucha. Got some leftover beans that I cooked in the Instant Pot, chopped onion, and then these are some tomatoes from our garden. Down here, I just have a thing of organic kale salad. So I like to throw this in soups. I also will put this in like sushi rolls or I don't know, I really don't eat like kale salad raw because I don't really like it, but I like to steam it and put it in stuff. So we have these two things of Miyoko's Creamery that we are just bringing to friends so that they can try it. This stuff is amazing. If you've never tried it, you get it from Whole Foods. That's the only place I've really found it and it's it would fool like any person that really loves cheese. This is like the vegan cheese. It's amazing. I also have a box of spring mix. I always have one of these on hand as well. I usually always have a box of spinach too, but I just threw that in the freezer as you just saw. This is corn chowder that I made in the Instant Pot the other day for Derek. And then this is a, it doesn't look super good, but it's really good. It's actually a wild rice soup that you guys might've saw on my Instagram the other day. Um, but I will be sharing the recipe for that soon. It's amazing. Down here I just have some veggies. So I got some basil. I've got cucumber, carrots, Brussels sprouts, avocado. I also don't have like a lot of veggies in here just because we do get some from our garden and we pick them fresh. I usually just buy them as I need them. Down here I just have like a bread drawer. So I've got this garlic naan from Trader Joe's. This is vegan in some Trader Joe's. It's not vegan though. Some states, for some reason, it has milk in it, but in Arizona, it doesn't. So that's one thing that I didn't really know about Trader Joe's, that their products vary state to state. Then I also have this pita bread that I get from Trader Joe's. I don't know if this is made locally, but it's legit the best pita bread I've ever had in my life. And I keep buying it, I just keep it in the fridge because then it doesn't go bad. I have some sourdough bread from Trader Joe's. We like bread, have you guys noticed that? I've got corn tortillas. These are my favorite corn tortillas ever. I've tried all the other kinds. These are the best. They get really crispy if you put them in the toaster. And then like one piece of sourdough bread and another bag. Over here for condiments and things, I'm just gonna quickly go through this. We've got some hot pepper jelly, kimchi. Um, this is like a vegan curry that I get off of Thrive Market that Derek likes. Got jalapenos, a bunch of jam strawberry and raspberry. I've got better than bouillon because I use it for like everything. Tomato paste. And then I just have back here like some wasabi, some probiotics. This is dill pickle spray for our popcorn. I've got some stevia, chlorophyll that I take every day. Down here, I've got some oat milk. We've got some creamer for Derek's coffee. He really loves creamer. I do not. Um, some lemon juice. That's not even real lemon. Lies. We've got ketchup, mustard, barbecue sauce. This is the marinara sauce that we buy from Trader Joe's because it doesn't have any oil and it's no salt. We also have the most high sodium bomb thing in the world, which is this Red Hot Wings. Um, we got some pickles that Mrs. Plant sent us. Derek's favorite condiment, Carolina Gold Barbecue Sauce. This is another pizza sauce that's from Trader Joe's that we'll put on like pizza and stuff that is fat free. And then this is my other favorite sauce to like put on burrito bowls and stuff. It's kind of a spicy cilantro sauce. Down here we've got a Lonely LaCroix, which we actually do have more over here. And we usually do have more like in our fridge. I just don't have it right now. Got some coconut water that I use for smoothies. More chlorophyll. Um, this is just like a vegan Caesar that Derek will put on burrito bowls. We got some pepperoncini, tahini, and sweet chili sauce. All right, so that is what we have in our fridge at the moment. Um, the rest of the kitchen is really kind of all over the place, but we have storage everywhere. So. These are like the things that we use the most. So we've got like red lentils 
black bean pinto beans they're just some extra spices that i had in bulk that i needed somewhere to put so we got peppercorn chili pepper from mexico oats coconut sugar peas come out i've got some garlic over here and then some tomatoes from our garden on top of our fridge i have this like wine rack that i use for mason jars so i just have some extra stuff up here like dried hibiscus more oats this is mesquite flour from our trees got some kashi cereal and then this is where i keep like all my potatoes so i've just got normal potatoes sweet potatoes and an onion this drawer here is kind of like our main dry goods drawer and i'm not going to go through like everything in here just because actually i will because that's what this video is about all right so we've got two cans of these crushed tomatoes that i get from thrive market actually i have four cans of these i don't know why i said two this is the tomato paste that we like to buy from trader joe's so we have a couple cans of this i always keep quite a few of these on hand because i like to add them to smooth not smoothies um soups and i like to make dips out of them as well so i'll make like spinach artichoke dip out of this and it just makes it like super creamy we've got some diced green chilies that we'll put in pinto beans i got these lentils from thrive market as well i buy a lot of stuff off there just because it's like super easy coconut milk got a couple cans of coconut milk this is moringa powder that we keep on hand and i just add it to smoothies as well i've got cocoa powder maca powder and then chlorella so all three of those things i also add into smoothies sometimes i'll add ashwagandha powder into my smoothies which just kind of i don't know it makes you feel like just kind of chill you know i've got a couple supplements so i've got bcaa's i've got some kelp and i take this iron every once in a while especially like after my time of the month i find that I feel kind of low on iron, so I take some of this. We've got kefir lime leaves in here. There's just a lot of random stuff in here, guys. PB2, of course. Got some ground flax. Thai red curry paste Then we will make curry out of. And then in all of these jars, we've just got extra stuff that doesn't fit anywhere else. So we've got more coconut sugar. We've got some hemp seeds. Um, these are amazing. They're quinoa flakes or puffed quinoa and it's just a really great thing to like add to the top of smoothie bowls. Some brown rice and then some toasted buckwheat. In this drawer, this is kind of like our snack drawer, which it doesn't really have any like snacks in it really, <laughs> but it's just more of like our dry goods that we keep. So we've got... A bunch of brown rice noodles we've got some elbow noodles i use for a recipe i really love these sourdough crisp breads and just to put like jam on them they're amazing got some orzo it's funny we have so much pasta in here but we don't really eat pasta a lot we've got two packages or no three packages of rice noodles some chickpea pasta brown rice cakes these are both organic pastas that I got from Thrive Market. I've got some organic seaweed. So this is the seaweed that I use. It does not taste fishy. Um, people ask me like all the time which one I use because I hate the fishy taste as well. So I buy this off Amazon. It's the only place I've found it and it's definitely my favorite. I've got some dried figs. Here we've got a cliff bar. <laughs> This is just like the random drawer of randomness. Some spices and veggie stocks. This is more pasta. We really need to make pasta. Here we've just got a bag of organic dried fruit. Got some more sauerkraut that my parents made. Um, this turmeric chai tea, which I'm going to try this today. I bought this and I haven't tried it yet, so... It's time. And I've just got some ramen that I bought for a eat this not that video. This was also for an eat this not that video. And then we've got sushi ginger. So this is like one of my biggest obsessions lately, putting this on my sushi. I don't know why, it's just like so good. So down here I've got another drawer of just like condiments and sauces. I really love this kind of stuff. 
as you can see. So we've got like apple cider vinegar, got some extra Carolina gold because if Derek runs out of that, it's the end of the world. Balsamic, balsamic vinegar, ume plum vinegar, red wine vinegar, gochujang, black strap molasses that I will put into things, but sometimes I just take like a spoonful of this. Vegan Worcester sauce, organic rice vinegar. Um, this stuff I actually bought because I want to try and make like a pasta salad out of it. So it is like the primal kitchen, but it's vegan. And it's like oil free. And then we just got other things like some tamari, some hot sauce. I do have some sesame oil, which I've had this forever. Um, I don't really use it. I kind of just put it in Derek's pasta or Thai dishes. More rice vinegar, some more habanero sauce, red chili flakes, sriracha, maple syrup, gochugaru, salt, cornmeal, black pepper. And then this last drawer is just like all of my spices and seasonings. So I used to have this be really organized. Um, it's not anymore though. So I just, you know, have the normal stuff. So the tar, we got some black salt, which black salt will make things taste like eggy. Um, Moroccan salt, oregano, rosemary, garam masala. You know, all the essentials. Vegan chicken salt, turmeric, onion powder, garlic powder, all the good stuff. So there is a little tour of our fridge and our pantry, or our multiple pantries. Um, I hope this video was kind of helpful for you guys, but I've just been getting like requests to make this video for a really long time, so I figured I would just do it. I didn't really think that it would be like super interesting for you guys, but you know, that's just like what we have in our house. We don't really ever have like a lot of junk food or, you know, foods with oil in them or anything like that. The only stuff that I have in the house is for like videos or maybe something that Derek buys. There's a fly. But thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you on the next video. Peace.